The underwater eruption of Italy's Campi Flegrei supervolcano could generate a 100-foot tsunami that could severely impact populated coastal areas like Pozzuoli and Sorrento, scientists say. By modeling an offshore eruption at the active volcano west of Naples, researchers were able to show that a tsunami could pose a risk to the region. They believe the national emergency plan for Campi Flegre should be updated accordingly. Campi Flegre is a volcanic complex consisting of 24 craters and structures, many of which are underwater, in the Gulf of Pozzuoli. The volcano last erupted in 1538, when a week-long eruption caused a new volcano, Monte Nuovo, to form. Campi Flegre has been active for 60,000 years, with a caldera formed during two major explosive eruptions. Several recent studies suggest that changes are underway in the system. In one study, researchers found that magma appears to be building beneath the volcanic system, suggesting that Campi Flegre is entering a new caldera cycle. This new phase, they said, could occur at an undetermined point in the future, culminating in a high-volume eruption. In another report, researchers looked at ground deformation that has occurred in the area since the 1950s, and found that the volcano has been building up energy during this period, potentially indicating that it is evolving toward conditions more favorable to an eruption. Because of the risk that Campi Flegre poses, some 500,000 people live in the volcano's red zone. The Italian government has a national emergency plan to deal with a possible eruption. However, this plan does not cover the possibility of an eruption occurring at sea. Campi Flegre is an active volcano that has produced explosive eruptions in the past for at least 60,000 years including two super eruptions, Martina Olvrova, of the Geophysics Institute at ETH Zurich, told Newsweek. There are several high risks associated with this volcanic activity including a large eruption that would destroy the landscape and eject ash into the atmosphere, dense pyroclastic flows of hot gas, ash and other volcanic material thrown into the atmosphere during an eruption. Alvrova added that, although evacuation plans for a potential eruption on land are well established, tsunamis are also a risk. We cannot ignore them and they should be included in the hazard maps for the region, she said. In a study published in the Journal of Volcanology and Geothermal Research, Alvrova and her colleagues modeled the potential for tsunamis generated by eruptions of different sizes at various locations in the Gulf of Pozzuoli. According to their tests, an explosion would form a crater-like cavity in the water surface, with a column of water rising in the center. When the column collapses, it would generate a second wave. Their findings suggest that significant tsunami hazard exists in many areas of the Gulf of Naples, with the risk most pronounced in the Gulf of Pozzuoli. In most eruption scenarios, the resulting tsunamis spread out and hit populated areas. Most areas would only be affected by relatively small waves, under 30 feet high, with a maximum of 5 feet. The waves would take about 15 minutes to cross the Bay of Naples.
However, in a worst-case scenario, waves as high as 100 feet could hit the coast. In the event of a large explosion in the Bay of Pozzuoli, our predictions show that the tsunami generated by the explosion would hit the coast with waves tens of meters high, Alvrova said. This would mostly affect the densely populated coastal areas of the Bay of Pozzuoli with dense infrastructure including houses, train networks, restaurants, historic buildings, etc. For the largest explosion, the wave hitting Naples would have a maximum amplitude of about 1.5 meters. The impact on the coast would certainly be smaller than in Pozzuoli, but it could still have a damaging effect on the port and buildings in the Naples area. We are talking about one of the most densely populated areas on Earth. The team said the tsunami risk should be included in the National Emergency Plan for Campi Flegre. Alvrova said that while the probability of an eruption offshore was quite low, the results can be directly used as input for decision-making in the event of an emergency related to a volcanic eruption in the area. 